for I rudely interrupted there. We're back on a beautiful Valentine's Day, the day that every male wants to hang himself. Uh, we got an issue here going on with, I already started the video, I don't know, I don't know how to add it to it, whatever, I'm not playing a 10 hour game trying to compilate the thing, and it's not a mass production for two people to watch, so I don't get that too excited about it. But anyways, this little switch right here, this little guy, right there where my thumbnail is, that switch is not, I believe, working, so when it comes up here and it bumps into that, it's supposed to stop it and tell it, hey, dummy, uh, you're far enough, don't go any further. It's not, and the thing's going, go further, go further, and the thing's screaming, no, daddy, no, <laughs> and it's going, come on, you, and yeah, <laughs> we're working it out. Uh, did you get that last one to come off, Tommy? No, still. Still fussing? Is it like half off or not off at all? Uh, it was starting to come off. Then it kind of reset. Yeah, yeah you're going to ruin the legs no, on it. I got them pulling a, a dip, many, many, many uh, leg I had like chip. That for a reason. Oh gosh, probably like 60 leg. A quad. Quad flat pack. Not a dip. I'm the dip. Okay, I got to hold this. We need to get these on here. The test lead's on here, right? This will tell us if the switch is working by beeping. Okay, I'll have it set on that mode, so it'll tell us this. Oh, come on. I'm the wrong thing. Damn. Huh. It'll tell us, hey, switch, you got contact, or you don't. And you'll hear this. Nothing, right? So, if I can hold on that, oh, I guess I can do it by myself. So we know that it's definitely not a connection in between the two wires. That's all a switch is. So it is working. Okay, so we are good there. So it's not registering. Why is it not registering no. it? That could be a bigger issue, that it's not registering it. Well, a couple more minutes, will that come off, or you think it's... I don't know. It needs surgery. What we got? I got my projector, and I, off the screen in the top of the projector, because it has a 500 watt bulb in it, a uh, lot of heat coming off. So I'm using that heat to warm up circuit boards and pull the pins. I don't know. I smell it. Go grab one of them square ones out of there, just so I can show the camera with uh, what we're talking about. What kind of pins? Kind of one the size of what Tommy's working on. So now this is a big time issue. Well, that's what's coming off. Yeah, this is almost exactly Wait. what he's working on. Quad flat pack. Something like this. It's a little bigger. His is about an uh, inch, inch and a half by about an inch. Yeah, I don't think this is going to come off. He got it kind of kicked up on one side. The rest of it don't want to go. Here, you can put that back. Okay, now that's bigger issues. That's a timeout issue. Switch is working there. So the switch has got to be not oh, kicking back through here into that. That's what I got to check now is these. The flex run into the circuit board underneath here off this. Runs down. And one of them is going to run over to here to tell it to stop. So I gotta find out where it's not getting to. Wow, that's dirty. Uh, probably a lot of. Probably a lot of tinkering, so it's nothing really fancy to watch here. Watching me poke on stuff that you can't even see because it's tiny. Until I get my microscope. I'm going to get a microscope. I really am. I'm going to get a nice one. Well, to a cheap, nice one. That's how I roll. Oh, there it goes. No. I got that out. It never flipped up. But yeah, that's how that, that little brown piece flips up. That's what locks it in. It's almost done. Almost got it? That's the worst is not to crank the crap. Hunter, why don't you hold the board down with that other big pick? With the one, yeah. Flip it upside down. 
The big one. The big, big one. Yeah, there you go. And hold it upside down on the board. Yeah, so you can hold pressure down for him. So he could pick up on it without picking the board up. So I got to switch that and follow it out these. It's going to be too hard to trace these pins because they're so tiny. Or these, but I do have, it looks like half of these pins come off this side right here. Down the back here, you're not going to be able to see it right there. Let me zoom you in so I can show you. Down the back side here, there's pins right there if you can see them. And then on the other side, the flex is, flex is butt down in there. So they split off both sides, pin on each side. So I got to get my fancy pins on my test leads and uh, poke around in there. That's a lot. I'm just trying to see if I can simplify that at all by following this out. If I had the circuit for it, it would be nice. Got to get a game plan together here on how I really want to tackle this. So the switch we know is definitely working. That, in fact, it's working really well. You just barely touch it and that thing was going off. So you got to follow it through on the board. Make sure uh, that's what it is. But right, I'll get a game plan and we'll be back.